Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. We're going to head up to Aldi's because we haven't been up here in a while. And apparently there's some new items, honey. Yeah, my soup crackers are here. And that's a new item. Uh, well, they've had them before, but they've got them back. Before we get into the video and get into Aldi's, though, love for you to hit the subscribe button below if you've not already done so. Also get that bell notification button below because that'll get you notified when we put up future videos. And I'd love for you to hit the like button when we're all done as well. That'll help us out immensely. Want to get into all these? Want to check out some of the Aldi deals? And uh, maybe walk down the aisle of shame, too. So let's get parked and we'll head into Aldi. Apples are a, uh, an Aldi saver right now. Gala apples and also pineapple. And also, honey, look. Caramel apples. Raspberries, $1.99. The gala apples are $1.99. Is that a, that's a three pound bag. Yeah. Pineapples are $1.99 each. And those are good sized pineapples too. Are they? Yeah. They're like medium sized pineapples. Grapes? Uh, grape tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. Grape tomatoes. Two eighty nine dollars for the uh, package. That's 10, 10 ounces. Mm -hmm. And then the raspberry was six ounces. Those are Driscoll's raspberries. Driscoll's is a good name. Want to check out bananas? Yeah, we need bananas. Oh, these are really green. But you know, bananas are still 49 cents here. Yeah, they've gotten to 55 cents at Kroger. And 65 cents at some places. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah, we like our uh, bananas not as green. Everybody's getting pumpkins right now. Three, How much? 349 for pumpkins here. Because it's the... It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Great show. Can't wait till it comes on again. I, so I watch that every Halloween. They actually have a really good produce section here, to be honest with you. Is it? We're here actually to find the one item that I've always been looking for, and it's been out. Oh, I know. i got to get over one aisle to get it, too. Right. Let's check the price of potatoes. Oh, because potatoes have gone up, haven't they? Yeah, but this is 10 pounds. This is actually a really good price for 10 pounds of potatoes. A lot. We paid like, what, $3 for 5 pounds? Right, but the thing is, it all depends on whether you could go through the potatoes. That's how yeah. this discussion about, can you go through 10 pounds of potatoes? We can't. If you can't go through 10 pounds of potatoes, you need to buy the less one. Yeah. They have the golden potatoes here too, though. What is, how much is the golden potatoes? It's a five pound peg of the yellow potatoes is a three ninety nine. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. Here you go, your crackers and cookies section, honey. And uh, as you know, we love the mini alphabet crackers. Mm -hmm. Our go to. You want me to get a box? Yes, please. So they're three twenty five for twelve ounces, and I think there's twelve pouches in there. This is something that I love, that grandbabies love, mm -hmm. and they're easy to throw into a lunchbox. You know, the other thing that I like here is uh, some of the Benton's. Uh, there's a Benton's brand here, and I'm looking for it, that tastes just like the uh, Girl Scout cookies. Here they are, right here. The caramel coconut fudge cookies. They taste exactly like the Girl Scout cookie version of this. And we did do a video on that, didn't we, honey? Mm -hmm. There's a video comparison. Yes, these are really, really good. And I think I'll throw these in the cart here. And how much were those? Those are $1.99. It's a great price. But I also saw macaroons up here. And I'm thinking about, I love macaroons. There's macaroons, plain coconut or chocolatey coconut. I'm a fan of the plain coconut. I love the plain coconut macaroons but I'm not gonna pay $2.49 for six cookies. But did you see these windmill cookies? This almost looks like the windmill cookies from Archway. Mm. True remember, that, true remember that. Remember that? Yeah. Ooh, let's see, check these out, because I love windmill cookies. They're spice cookies. So they're 150 calories a piece. Lots of sugar. I will not get that this time, maybe next time, because I do like spice cookies. But what I'm looking for is this right here. It's oh, yeah. finally back. You don't realize how much salt is in crackers. And this one had low salt the last time. I remember that. So the salt on this is 130 for 19 crackers, which is doable as I'm watching my salts and sugars. 
I know it doesn't look like we're watching our salts and sugars, but we we're actually, supposed to be, right? Oyster crackers are a great snack. Actually, these are really good to put like in chicken noodle soup or something like that too. So, and that is a dollar or nine. That is a new item that's back. Do you want to just get one? One is fine. You sure? Yes. Okay. I'll just have to make sure I stock up before the end of winter because soup is the big thing now. Right. And I did want to get a couple of pieces of cheese. I think I wanted some pro. Did we? Would you believe we're out of provolone cheese again? I can't believe we go through that much provolone cheese. So I need to get provolone. So let me slide in here and see if I can find provolone. It was a provolone sliced cheeses. Oh, keep going down. I see. Yeah, it. it's going to be down farther. Here we are. Did you want the non-smoked, right? Yes. How many do you want to get? Um, just get one for now. Just get one. Mm -hmm. That's a good price, $1.99. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because cheese does have a habit of going on sale at Kroger, too. Mm -hmm. They do make cheese a digital deal every now and then. Yeah, We're, I was amazed at how much provolone cheese we go through because we make grilled cheese sandwiches. Yep. And we do grilled cheese sandwiches with provolone. And we also do grilled cheese sandwiches with Swiss. Swiss. And I know you do your grilled cheese sandwiches with the American, yes. You're boring sometimes. I know I'm boring. What do you put in your grilled cheese sandwiches? Can we ask them? We put ham and cheese. But a lot of people put other things in. So if you know you put something different other than ham into a grilled cheese sandwich, or I should, might call it a toasted cheese sandwich, uh, let us know. Love to know. Here's an Aldi saver for you on toilet paper. It is the... Uh, 18 mega roll bath tissue from Willow, 1419 instead of 1499. So there's an Aldi saver for you if you need toilet paper. Okay, I always get a kick out of this, don't you? Because this 18 mega rolls is equal to 72 regular rolls. How small is the regular roll? I'm curious. Is that like this small? See, this okay. says. Okay, I'm sorry. I just got to do this. This has four rolls, okay? All right, I'm just comparing. You, you tell me. I'm not going to say a word. Right. So what is considered a regular roll? Exactly. And same thing here. There is a bigger one, Willow, 30 mega roll, and it says... 425 sheets per roll is what it says. Right. But like I said, equals, that always gets me. I don't get that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. These are Aldi finds, uh, not considered Aldi savers, but Aldi finds. As they say, here today, gone tomorrow for Halloween candy. Uh, some good prices on these big bags of candy, though. Yeah, but last week we had a, a couple weeks ago, we had a better price on the Child's Play from yeah. Kroger. Uh, it was a three pound bag, though, at Kroger. But I think it was five ninety nine. Yeah. So that was a lot better deal than the four mm -hmm. pounds here. So the prices here are good, but you just have to compare elsewhere to see where the best prices you have. Yeah, obviously you want to look for sale prices too. These are just fine prices, not sale prices. So the the uh, the uh, big bags of the Mars chocolate favorites, sixteen ninety eight. Um, the uh, Hershey's all time greats, fourteen seventy four. Those are the uh, Reese's pumpkin. They uh, be Reese's Pumpkin, fourteen seventy four for that. Uh, Mars Chocolate Variety, ten ninety eight, and then Mars Chocolate Favorites, sixteen ninety eight, and then uh, also Mars Grab Bag Variety, eight ninety nine. So we have some decent prices on Halloween candy. Again, as Peg said, not great. Look for sale prices; should be better. But um, if you can't find sale prices, these are pretty good. When we were talking about soup um, and how this is soup season. Pretty pricey for Campbell's soup, though. Well, they don't want you to buy the name brand. So what they do at Aldi is they want you to buy their brand. For example, the Campbell's tomato soup is one twenty-five, but their version is sixty-eight cents. They do have ramen, though. I'm surprised they didn't have ramen last time we were here. 
Well, there was a ramen shortage a while back, and it looks like now it's back in stock. Mm -hmm. They do have ramen. They do have Chunky. Chunky was on sale at Kroger, wasn't it? Right. It was on sale at Kroger this week for $1.25. Yeah. So, but they want you to buy this Chef's Cupboard Soup, which is $1.68. So, like I said, it is soup season. If you want to watch the price of soups, check around. There's lots of places that will have soup on sale. Well, at least something finally came down, honey. Not much, but a little bit anyway. The Appleton bacon, either the lower salt bacon or the regular bacon, now at three ninety nine a pound. We actually like the lower salt bacon. It's, bacon rather, it's really comparable to the uh, uh, to the Kirkland brand that we uh, normally get. But as you know, as something goes down, something will go up. Yeah, exactly. So we'll figure out what went up in price. Well, I know what went up in price. It is butter. Well, there's a shortage of butter, is what we're hearing. Um, if you can see butter cheap, buy it. I think, what was it, two years ago, it got up to like $6 a pound for butter. And now it's dropped as low as $3. We've seen it as low as two fifty, Or $2. Or even $2 a pound. Right now it's running here anyway, butter three ninety eight for a pound of their uh, creamery, uh, countryside creamery butter. But remember, we just went to Costco, and in our local Costco, it was three sixty-three a pound mm -hmm. for their butter. But we had to buy a four-pack, which is no bad. Butter freezes, so if you get a good price on butter, buy a lot of it and freeze what you're not using. It doesn't take more than a day to unfreeze it. So, do you want to get eggs? Yes, eggs we are do. not a bad price at all. They're a dollar ninety-two for a dozen of eggs, and I think it was what two and a quarter at Kroger. No, it went down to one ninety nine, but this is still cheaper. Okay, so you want to get a dozen eggs? Yes, please. Because we only bought a dozen when we were at Kroger right. last time. We're still working on a price of eggs to see. Hopefully, it'll go down cheaper during the holidays. Yeah, these are good. But as we were talking during the holidays, that the reason why butter is short and it's the worst time now is why, honey? Uh, because of a labor shortage and production decline. So there's not not a lot of cows. So there's not a lot of milk. So there's not a lot of butter. Couldn't come at a worse time as we get into the holidays. Here's an Aldi find that we weren't expecting. Bavarian soft pretzels or pretzel sticks, four forty nine. There's six pretzels in that package. I don't see the sticks, I just see the pretzels themselves. But uh, that's actually not a bad price for Bavarian pretzels, soft pretzels. I always love what they have here, and it looks like they have a beanbag chair here for thirty nine ninety nine. As our kids were growing up, I loved these. Oh, it's a growth chart ruler. Yeah. So it is your... actually a ruler. Goes two ways. You can put it up that way, or you can put it up that way. Oh, I love that. Are you actually six feet now? Yeah, I went to the I went to do a, an insurance thing, and they said I was five foot ten. I'm like, I haven't shrunk four inches. So I had my physical the week after, and I said, How tall am I? Because they tried to tell me I'm five foot ten. I'm six foot one. I've shrunk an inch. So I, I'll give you that. But yeah, these are cool for kids growing up, so you can measure how tall they are. Yeah, they're called reversible growth chart rulers. And they're only 20 bucks, nineteen ninety nine. Great price. If you got kidlets, these are phenomenal. Or and even they, us. <laughs> yeah, and they have different kinds, of, and they're reversible. Like, here's dinosaurs. We have a kid that loves dinosaurs. And then you've got uh, this one here with hearts and rainbows. More dinosaurs. Actually, we do need a new laundry basket, honey. Do you like the... Um, collapsible ones though. These aren't the collapsibles. Right. I think I'm going to try to find a collapsible one because I'm all about storage space right now. Yeah. You get uh, a printed two bushel laundry basket for nine bucks, eight ninety nine. This one is seven ninety nine. This is just a, a different variety of it. That's not seven ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Sorry, seven bucks, six ninety nine. And this is a smaller one for five ninety nine. This is just a hard plastic one. Oh, I don't like this. It has to do with the handles. Yeah, it's just a hard plastic one. So those are those are here if you need a laundry basket, but we're looking for a collapsible one. They've got bed pillows for seven ninety nine, uh, macrame decor pillows for six forty nine. Six forty nine. They do have a bamboo mop or a bamboo room for seven ninety nine. The area rug is twenty four ninety nine. Must be clearance priced. And then here's some area rugs as well for thirty nine ninety nine. Did you see this? Yeah. We have a whole this. cart full of last minute markdowns. Ooh, I love this stuff. Let's see what's in here. How big are these? 
Oh, they remember they're too small. He's like, like a size nine, ten now. Oh, these are five, six. Yeah. They fit him. More shirts. Ooh, look at that. Can I buy a pair of pink shoes? What size is this one? Oh, that, that's too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Three nine nine four. It's a knit and a pot holder. Pot holder. What else is in here? I'm just looking. I'm just bouncing through all these things. Sunglasses. Oh, I like this. How about how about this trunk organizer for nine ninety nine, honey? See this? Nine ninety nine. Anything else in there? I'm just I'm looking through here. There's. Five six, that wouldn't fit. Oh, here's, here's nine, nine ten. Pens. It's yellow. Would you like yellow? Those no, are oh, no, those nope. are those are uncomfortable. Nope, they look uncomfortable. Yeah. What's this? That's a belt. What size? XL. Three ninety nine. I'm just looking. Yep. You gotta dig to find some of these mm -hmm. things. Four ninety nine. Oh, it's too small for me. Okay. Pretty cool though. Lots of clearance items. Yeah, whole cart of it. Now we're gonna go down the uh, Aldi finds aisle. See if we can find anything down here. Ooh, I like this. I really do like this. Countertop composting. Yes. How much is that? Does it say that? I'm looking. There's no price on I don't on see that. a price anywhere. I really like that because we have our cool compost pile, honey. Uh, compact dish drainer. There's your four slice toaster. $29.99. Some storage containers. $4.99. Anything you, exciting here? You want to make churros? It's a churro maker. How much is that? Twenty-two ninety-nine for the churro maker. I don't know how much the the quesadilla maker is. They don't have a price on the quesadilla maker. Same thing. It's a quesadilla or churro maker. Oh, okay. Twenty-two ninety-nine. Twenty-two ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. And I always loved our reusable straws. So we actually have reusable straws at home. Yep, we use them all the time. For four ninety-nine. Pumpkin spice oh, Oreo nice. cookies. <laughs> You want a gazebo, honey? Oh, you want you're you're looking at the big planners, aren't you? Yeah, there's no price on that, but look at the size of those things. Those are huge. The gazebo is only $119.99 for a pop-up gazebo. Wow, look at that. It has um screened in, yep, screened in sides, yeah. Oh, I like this. The garment rack. It's only thirty nine ninety nine. That's a little pricier than I've seen. I've seen them at uh, I think Target is cheap as twenty bucks. A How chair. About folding chairs. Those are forty nine ninety nine sling chairs. Uh huh. How about a trash can? How much is that? Uh, forty nine ninety nine for that. Or laundry baskets and such. Yeah, they're different shapes. So these are tall laundry baskets, so they take up less space on the floor. Six forty-nine. I know you got canvas totes for nine ninety-nine. There's another basket. one. Oh, down there, laundry baskets. One with a lid too. For fourteen ninety-nine. Then they've got the uh, wire baskets over here. Fourteen ninety-nine for wire baskets. A nine ninety nine for a decorative easy storage laundry basket. Mm hmm Lots of laundry baskets, more than I expected. Yeah, they even have underwear up there. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yep, I see that the ladies two pack lace bralette for nine ninety nine. And they even have fashion jewelry earrings for six ninety nine. Fall fashion earrings, yeah. Want a comforter? There's a comforter. Uh, comforter and uh, coverlet set for forty nine ninety nine. Six pieces. What's in the six pieces? Oh, it comes with a queen comforter, coverlet, shams, and more shams. Hmm. So it's got two shams. Oh, I like that. So you basically get two blankets. Yep. 
I think sometimes we need that. And yep. don't forget, October is... Fire Prevention Month. Get yourself your fire extinguishers, get yourself your smoke detectors. Remember when the time changes, change your batteries and your smoke detector. And please do put a carbon monoxide alarm or a smoke alarm in your house too. Yes, most definitely. And they're $16.99 each. Oh, I like this, the dog water bowl. That's only $14.99 for mm -hmm. that. That's a good price for that. And here are microfiber sheets for $17.99 at Aldi, but we have seen them cheaper at Costco. Mm -hmm. Here, honey, remember the hotels. Uh, Belgian waffle maker. This is a double rotating Belgian waffle maker. $34.99 for that. So you can make yourself Belgian waffles. And it just makes two waffles at a time. Ooh, I like that. This even went down to price, honey. What is it? It's a nesting side table. How much is it? I can't see that. $34.99. Used to be $52.99. So you have two side tables. I do like that. Oh, maybe we need to get this. The fly magnetic screen. Magnetic fly screen. A day ninety nine. I would get that. I actually. was looking at this. The umbrellas. The kidlet on the kids' umbrellas. How much are those? Four ninety nine, I think. So it says, yeah, four ninety nine. Ashley, can we grab that? Oh, you want to grab this? Yeah, I want that. You want to know why? Why? Can we put that on our front door? And open our door, or is it this is only a screen? So it's not even a screen. It's not. Well, but I do like that. It's not a screen. It's just uh, a cover. Just a cover, yeah. Okay. It's I, not a screen, it's just a cupboard. I'd rather have a screen, magnetic screen. We actually need to get a screen door is what we need on our front door. But that's going to cost me a couple of hundred bucks. And of course I have these sunglasses. Those aren't sunglasses. Those are actually blue light or night driving glasses. Oh. So those are what, these are what you wear at a computer, the blue light glasses if you're on a computer a lot. And the night driving glasses, they've got the yellow tint to help you see at night. I actually have bluing in my computer glasses uh, already, my prescription uh, computer glasses. And some Halloween decorations. Mm -hmm. Decorative lanterns for $9.99. Oh, these are cute. The lanterns mm, for $6.99. $6 yeah. I think are these made for outdoor or indoor? I think those are outdoor. Yeah, those are metal. Okay. And as you can see by this one here, they get banged up pretty easy. Mm -hmm. There's some Halloween decor for $12.99. Truck or gnome. Hmm. Want a Halloween cat scratching playhouse? A ghost house? Interesting. $8.99. And then Halloween socks. Oh, here, honey. I don't think these will fit you, but these are supposed to be for men's or ladies. I wear a size 15, so I, I have a hard time finding anything that fits. Then they've got a whole bunch of Halloween candy down here as well. As we say about Halloween candy, if you can find it for Halloween, find it on sale somewhere. But be the cool parent on the block and give away full-size candy bars if you can. One of the things uh, that we've had to deal with in the wintertime is getting so dry. Um, we used to have a whole house humidifier on our old house. We don't on the new one. So we might have to pick up a humidifier. Here's one for $27.99, a safety first cool mist humidifier. Um, not a bad price for a humidifier. Ooh, here's a basket shaped like a fish for $4.99. I gotta see this. It's shaped like a fish. It literally is shaped like a fish. <laughs> wow. It's a fish okay. basket. <laughs> it's called a fish basket. A head to tail boner fish basket. <laughs> something different. Yeah, something very different to be honest with you. How about with. a laundry backpack? Ooh, I like that too. Is it, actually, it is a laundry backpack. This is interesting. How about a vertical mouse? A wireless vertical mouse. I think most people know by now that I sleep with a fan on. And when we travel, we have a fan that we take with us. This is a little big, but it might fit in our suitcase for $10. 
I think I'm going to pick this up, and we'll see if I can fit it in a suitcase. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. can't beat the price. No, it has three fan speeds, adjustable tilt head, built-in carry handle, removable grill, mm -hmm. wall mountable, and it's quiet. I don't know. I thought you liked noise. It, well, we'll see how noisy it is. But again, for 10 bucks, you can't really go wrong. And if it doesn't fit in the suitcase, I can take it to work and put it at my desk. So for 10 bucks, I'm picking it up. It started to get a little busy in there, so we kind of wrapped things up. But we did get your oyster crackers, honey. I know that you're happy about that, weren't you? Yes, I am. I've been waiting for those to come back in stock. Um, I know they have them in other places, but you kind of like these, and so you got those. I picked myself up a fan. We're going to find out if we can fit it in our luggage next time we travel. Uh, if not, it'll go on my desk at work. But for 10 bucks, I couldn't beat the price of that fan. Just one of the many Aldi finds and Aldi deals that we found uh, this week at Aldi. Haven't been up here, what, God, almost uh, two months? A month. So um, is, thanks for hanging out with us during our quick trip up to Aldi. So if you've not already done so, please hit the subscribe button below. Also, that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up future videos. And as always, we'd love for you to hit the like button, too, because that does help us out immensely. Hopefully, we can save you a little bit of money here at Aldi's today. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a magical day.